rear tail light had um, such large pieces missing from it. So you proceed inside the home, and, and where where is it that you're directed, and uh, where is it that? Uh, we told her we're seizing the phone, and we'd be writing a search warrant uh, for that. Through your training experience, when a cell phone is, is seized from a person, what, if anything, is it that you do with regard to that cell phone uh, to preserve the information on? Well, the first thing we do is we put it in airplane mode, arrived in Canton at the police department at approximately 5.31 p.m. And with reference to the Canton Police Department's uh, Sally Port Garage, why was the vehicle taken there? Yeah, uh, Sergeant Buchanan and I didn't have access to the um, permanent evidence locker area. Upon your further inquiry of Ring, were you ever able to obtain any video? Now, with reference to uh, these experiences uh, or relationships or lack thereof that you have, <clears throat> now with regard to um, the investigation that you were conducting and the interviews that you conducted, what, if any, impact uh, did that those relationships have with regard to your interviews of them specifically or the investigation in total? Zero. That is one of my nicknames I've had since maybe high school. So a nickname that would be familiar amongst these group of friends in particular? Yes. Um, where are you and, and what are you doing uh, in reference uh, around that time period? What, what did you understand that to me? Sure. Uh, sure. Uh, sure. I'm sure the owner of the house will receive some shit. And uh, you respond at 1056 as well as 1057, is that correct? Correct. And what is it that you respond? Uh, my first response was nope. Um, homeowner is a Boston cop too. So I, I understand. So, Mr. Lally, why don't you go point for your witness? Hey, I brought you on. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I see what you have for a second, please? Yes, yeah, sure. Mr. Lally, it's on there. Why don't you go show your witness? Why don't you just read it, Mr. Lally, and tell us who you attribute it to? Sure. Uh, question is, is that chick a smoke? Uh, again, 4146 question mark. I respond, EH. Eh. Um, I respond again, not bag, as Chief would say. Um, I also respond with, she's got a leaky balloon knot, uh, leaks poo. Um, and what, if anything, is that in reference to you? Again, um, to misread some medical conditions there. Um, again, unprofessional comments I should not have made um, that I'm not proud of. What, if any, impact did that have as far as your investigation was concerned uh, regarding this? These juvenile unprofessional comments have zero impact on the facts and the evidence and the integrity of this investigation. Uh, they said these are unprofessional comments, but they absolutely do not detract from the integrity of the investigation or the facts and evidence of it. Your Honor, may I approach this retreat? Yes. What are you referring to in that text, sir? Um, I'm referring to the arrest after Ms. Reed was indicted by the grand jury. And again, uh, as far as the terminology uh, that you use in that text message to your wife, uh, why is it? Again, unprofessional messages I should not have sent. Um, I don't have an explanation other than they're regrettable and uh, it's something I'm not proud of, the language I use. May I approach the retrieval? Yes. So second, uh, text communications among your friend group. Um, with reference um, to with that particular time frame and the language that you used, um, what sort of information had you gathered to that point and why would you say or use that particular language in your particularly in your descriptions of the defendant. <clears throat> this was, you know, 16, 18 hours later, uh, and we had conducted multiple interviews. We knew, Speak up. We conducted multiple interviews. We knew Mr. O'Keefe never went into Fairview Road. We knew there was one shoe at the scene, one shoe at the hospital. Mr. O'Keefe, based off Mr. O'Keefe's injuries, Ms. Reed's statements when Sergeant Buchanan and I interviewed her, 
her broken taillight, the missing taillight, uh, some taillight pieces found at the scene led me to make those comments. Whether, like I said, it was not, they weren't professional comments, but based on the day's investigation, it was clear that Ms. Reed had struck Mr. O'Keefe with her vehicle. Sir, if I could turn your attention to the documents before you, do you recognize those? I do. From all accounts, he didn't do anything wrong. She's a whack job. C-U-N-T. So don't spell it. You have to, so this, these are your words, Trooper Proctor? Yes, Your Honor. Go ahead and say them. Hunt. Uh, yes, she's a babe. We had Fall River accent, though. Though, no ass. And sir, what is it that you were referring to there, or why would you text that? These were, um, from all accounts, he didn't do anything wrong, is um, talking about Mr. the homeowner, Mr. Albert. Um, I had mentioned the compelling evidence against Ms. Reed at this point indicated that Mr. Albert had nothing to do with Mr. O'Keefe's death. The rest of the...